Welcome to Doy Arena, everyone. I'm Nick Wilton from the Nag Gazette, alongside Coach Dave Burkholder of the Nag University Purple Eagles hockey team. Uh, Coach, um, thanks again for meeting, and uh, let's jump right into it. Uh, RPI and Union last weekend, you get guys to get a tie against RPI. Uh, a little bit on the short side against Union, but uh, overall, how do you guys look back at that weekend now? Yeah, I, I thought it was a terrific weekend for us. We made a lot of progress in a lot of areas. Uh, you know, I thought on Friday uh, we might have been the better team for a lot of the game against RPI, who's a terrific team in the ECAC. So um, we scored two power play goals. Um, we got solid goaltending out of Jackson Tykerobe. Um Just a lot, a lot of good. And unfortunately on Saturday, uh, uh, Union's top line going in, we knew the scouting report, if you could shut down their top line, you had a chance, and uh, they scored all five goals. So we didn't do a very good job of that. But they're a really good team, really fast. And um, you know what, I, I think the Tuesday game that we played at Mercer, we played three road games in four and a half days, and I just thought maybe midway through the second period against Union, we looked a little tired. And, and Coach, you mentioned uh, Union's top line. I thought you guys this weekend, just, just tuning in when I could, because um, you guys were away in Albany, unfortunately, for both those ones. You guys had a couple of your own your own boys rolling, a few freshmen, uh, Chris Spriggs, who we already spoke to after the opening weekend against Holy Cross, and Derek Brown uh, got his first couple of points. Uh, they were on the same line, so can you just uh, evaluate their start to the year, their freshman uh, collegiate careers? Yeah, uh, obviously Chris uh, Spriggs from Edmonton had a great uh, opening weekend against Holy Cross, and then you know to add uh, his two points against Union, um, he's he's a goal scorer. If you give him the puck anywhere near the net, um, it's gold. He's been uh, terrific. He was great in dry land. You know, led us in scoring in our inner squad games, things like that. So uh, we expect him to be a, a dominant player once we hit league play. And as you mentioned, Derek Brown has just been uh, uh, slowly and quietly been been really really good. Uh, and that culminated with his uh, two-point effort, or three points for the week. So, uh, really pleased with our young guys. They've been uh, they've been getting quality ice time, and they're producing with it. Coach, a combination of uh, some good good talent you guys are playing against possibly um, you guys I thought showed up well against Holy Cross you get a tie this weekend but still no wins yet this year um, disappointing or are you still pulling some positives out no we're, we're looking at the positives I mean obviously we should have split against Holy Cross we were the better team on Saturday night and they pulled their goalie and got the the extra attacker goal which hurts and that still stings but uh, um, and then obviously the the non-league games that we're getting into now um, you know playing RPI and Union huge history and and, uh, and we'll be able to judge ourselves now that we're in the Big Ten for two weeks uh, with Ohio State coming here for two, and then we go to Penn State. So I think, uh, I think after these six non-conference games, we'll regroup and see where we're at as a team and, and, and make any uh, changes and tweaks that we have to. And Berkey, you mentioned there, Ohio State this weekend. We can wrap it up with them, number 15, according to the U USCHO. Uh, so they're going to be formidable opponent uh, as far as uh, uh, mutual teams. You guys haven't played Air Force yet, but they're uh, uh, an Atlanta hockey foe you're very familiar with. They tied Air Force in the uh, well, championship game. We went to a shootout, and I think Air Force pulled it out there in an early season uh, tournament. But uh, what can you tell us about Ohio State? What are you expecting from the Buckeyes? Well, they're undefeated, and they're nationally ranked, and they're in the Big Ten, and they're, they're Ohio State. So... Um, no, it's it's real exciting. For, I mean, obviously they're uh, you know they probably have three really deep lines uh, and a couple deep pair that we're going to have to be that that are that are offensive minded. So their their overall depth is probably something we haven't seen. I, I would think that they're I think the Union team probably, but um, it's a great test for us. And the good news it's right here at the Dwyer, and uh, and I'm sure our university community is going to be excited to watch.